have seen De Broglie hypothesized that a wave called matter wave is associated with a particle which is localized with the particle and a critical experiment to verify the wave-like properties of the particle say electron was done by Davison, Lester, Germer and George Thomson in the year 1927 and they were awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in the year 1937. Now here is a funny story to relate with. Uh, you must be familiar with the name J.J. Thompson who in the year 1906 identified electron as a particle and was awarded the Nobel Prize and in 1937 his son George Thompson was awarded the same for pro proving that electrons are waves and you, when you have to understand that both father and the son were correct because electron are particle as well as wave and because of the wave particle duality. So the uh, core of the experiment is like uh, this. If the wavelength of matter wave associated with uh, electron is of the order of say few angstrom that is 10 power minus 10 meter then these waves when scattered from crystal will show a diffraction effect just like an x-ray. So they try to recreate a diffraction experiment using electron instead of x-rays and it was observed that crystals diffract electrons as if they are a form of waves because you know diffraction is a phenomenon shown by waves. And the wavelength associated with the electron was measured using Bragg's law and this was in agreement with the de Broglie relation. So let's see the experimental part now. So this is the experimental uh, arrangement as did by Davison and Germer. Uh, you can see an electron gun here from which a well collimated beam of electron is emerging and this electron is falling on to a nickel crystal and they get scattered in all directions. So here the intensity of scattered electron say in this direction it is uh, calculated as a function of this angle phi. You can call it as latitude angle. The latitude angle will be the angle between the incident beam and the scattered beam reaching the uh, detector here. So uh, now so this is what is done in the experiment the angle uh, the intensity of the electron scattered is calculated in terms of or as a function of this latitude angle phi and we plot different graphs that show the variation of intensity of the scattered electron as a function of phi for different accelerating potentials. So you can see that starting from 40 volt accelerating potential of 40 volt to 68 volt we drew different graphs on in the y-axis we have the incident beam direction so uh, now you can see from the graph that there is a small bump that arises say from 44 volt so see the hump bump here so a small bump begin to appear in the curve at 44 volt of electron beam now the bump move upward as the voltage increases so you can see a little more bump is in the 48 volt and this bump has a maximum at 54 volt and the latitude angle now here is 50 degree and the above 54 volt you have to understand that this bump diminishes or become almost uh, or become uh, lower and lower. So at 54 voltage we get a pronounced bump at a latitude angle of 50 degree. So this uh, occurrence of this bump can be explained uh, due to the constructive interference of the electron waves scattered in this direction from the atomic planes of the target. So in the previous figure we had a nickel crystal which had atomic planes so the electrons are scattered from such a nickel plane. So you, in this figure you can see this nickel crystal as having a, uh, a, as one 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 plane was uh, shown here. So uh, according to Bragg's law that is n lambda is equal to 2d sin theta. 
uh, here we are taking uh, first order diffraction that is n will be equal to 1 and d in this uh, uh, equation d is the interplanar distance or uh, spacing between the different planes which is a constant for each crystal and that value for nickel is 0.91 angstrom so that also we know now we have to find out what is theta from this figure because we know phi phi is uh, 50 degree so you can see this uh, angle theta plus phi plus theta that will make 180 degree here so theta plus phi plus theta is 180 degree or 2 theta plus phi is 180 degree from the figure therefore theta is 180 minus phi by 2 phi we know it is the latitude angle 50 degree so from this equation we will find out what is theta theta is the angle of diffraction here from the for the Bragg's law so phi is 50 degree so theta will be 180 minus 50 by 2 which comes to be 65 degree therefore lambda is equal to 2 into uh, d is 0.91 angstrom sine 65 degree on calculating we get 1.65 angstrom as the wavelength so this is the uh, wavelength uh, obtained by the electron diffraction or from the diffraction experiment the wavelength that we arrive at is given by 1.65 angstrom now the same thing may be compared with uh, de Broglie relation de Broglie relation is lambda is equal to h by p or h by root of 2 m ev in this case we have uh, considered the bump at 54 volt right so v is 54 volt so substituting this in the equation for lambda uh, we may solve that uh, h is 6.634 into 10 power minus 34 uh, divided by root of 2 into m mass of electron 9.1 into 10 power minus 31 ev e uh, voltage is 54 and e is 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 the answer is 1.67 angstrom so before we got it as 1.65 angstrom and here we got it as 1.67 angstrom that means they are well in agreement both the theoretical uh, wavelength prediction from de Broglie hypothesis and the actual experimental factor experimental result that is the uh, davison germer experiment gives us 1.65 so you see that it is in direct agreement or we can say that this uh, de Broglie hypothesis is uh, correct and the same experiment was actually repeated with neutrons also instead of electron and again the same result was uh, observed so the wave property